So let's pick up where we left off in the last video and try to find the expected value of x squared. So the expected value of x squared is rather similar to the formula we had in the previous video. So the only thing that's different is that we're using x squared. And then for an infinite square well, the nth stationary state, this is what we get squared dx. So all we have to do is to solve this integral. So to simplify things a bit for us, I'm going to let n pi x divided by a be equal to y. So dy dx is going to be equal to n pi over a. So we know that dx is going to be a over n pi dy. So now we can do the substitution. So from, for when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. When x is equal to a, y is equal to n pi. And then we have an x squared over here. x squared just becomes so a y divided by n pi squared. We have a 2 over a. We have a sine squared. This just becomes a y. And then for dx, that becomes a over n pi dy. So we're going to pull out all the constants. So you see that we have three of these a over n pi's. And then we're going to pull out 2 over a. And then what's remaining on the inside, we have y squared times sine squared y dy. So all we have to do now is to focus on solving this integral. So in order to solve this integral, we're going to have to use integration by parts. So we're going to have to, we're going to, have to integrate sine squared first. So how do we integrate sine squared? So to integrate sine squared, we need to consider the double angle formula. So according to this double angle formula, we can rewrite sine squared as 1 minus cosine 2y divided by 2 dy. This just becomes 1 over 2 minus sine 2y over 4 plus c. So uh, once we're doing substitution, uh, once we're doing integration by parts with these bounds, the c essentially goes away once we substitute the numbers in, so that's not important. But going back to the integration by parts, we integrate this component so the sine squared becomes this and then 0 to n pi and then minus now we need to differentiate this we get 2y y over 2 minus sine 2y over 4 dy so substituting the numbers in this actually just becomes n pi to the power 3 over 2 so if you substitute 0 everything becomes 0 if you substitute n pi, you get n pi to the power 3 divided by 2, and the sine 2 n pi is always equal to 0, because you can just draw the sine graph to see for yourself. And then going back here, uh, 2 is a cancel out, so we get y squared minus y sine 2y divided by 2 dy. So we just need to continue with solving this integral. So the y squared becomes y to the power 3 divided by 3. It goes from 0 to n pi. And then we have a plus 1 half 0 to n pi y times sine 2y dy. So let's focus on this integral now. So once again, we use uh, integration by parts. We integrate this component 0 to n pi. And then we differentiate this component, so the y goes away. So this is a plus. So substituting the numbers in, you see that 0, this whole thing becomes 0 because of the y. If you substitute n pi, you get negative n pi over 2 because cosine 2 n pi is always equal to 1. So if you substitute n pi, cosine 2 n pi is always equal to 1. So you can draw the cosine graph yourself to check. And uh, integrating this, 0 to 2 pi, that's uh, 0 to n pi. So once again, sine 2 n pi is always equal to 0, and then sine 0 is always equal to 0. So this becomes 0. So we don't have to care about this. So we get a negative n pi over 2. So let's continue to solve this integral. We can substitute n pi over here. Then as we've just found, this thing here is negative n pi over 2. So we, we have also have another 1 half, so it becomes negative n pi over 4. So 
So this becomes n pi over 3 divided by 6 minus n pi over 4. So note that this result here is this integral. So to find the expected value of x squared, we need to multiply by these constants as well. So let's do just that. So the expected value of x squared is equal to a over n pi to the power of 3, and then 2 over a multiplied by this result that we just found. Divided by 6 minus n pi over 4. So I'm just going to take out one of the a's, so we get 2a squared. And then I'm going to dump the n pi to the power of 3 inside, so this cancels out. And then this becomes n pi squared. And then I'm going to dump the 2 inside as well. So I'm going to simplify my answer to the stage. So this is the answer. This is the expected value of x squared.